Ciao and welcome back to Pasta More, Pasta with Love. I'm Chef Joe Melli and today on Pasta More, we don't have a script, we don't have a plan. When I woke up today, I didn't know that I'd even be doing this video today. So, what I also realized it was October 1st. So, other than being October 1st, it also happens to be the month of my birthday. Thank you very much. But it is also National Pasta Month. So I said, I got to do something. Even though I don't have a plan today, I got to do something in honor of National Pasta Month. And I'm not waiting, you know, today's October 1st. Let's do it. So uh, without a plan, usually when I do these videos, I have a, a, an outline. Uh, I go shopping, I get, I, I get ingredients, I have a plan from start to finish, what I'm going to make, how it's going to look, etc, etc. So I said, why don't I just do this, and I've never done this before uh, on, on the show. Um, I said, I'm going to rummage through my fridge, in my pantry, and create what we call a pantry pasta, for lack of a better word. Okay? which means I'm going to come up with something based on the usable ingredients I have in my house. That's it. Not going to the store, not planning it out. All right. So what did I come up with? Okay. So I have here a package of Italian cold cuts. Had a dinner party the other night. We used this as antipasti. Had some leftover Italian cold cuts. I have an open container, half used of cherry tomatoes. All right, and I can use some pomodoro. I always have chicken stock somewhere in the fridge. All right, so I got some chicken stock. I even have a fresh salsa that I made earlier this week for another meal that we had. So I pulled that out. Uh, seems like I always have some kind of a grating cheese. This one happens to be a Pecorino Romano. Hey, can't go wrong. Um, pasta dough went in the freezer. And I pull out one of the many stored pasta doughs that obviously in this house there's always pasta dough in the freezer. So I knew I had that. All right, didn't even have to make it. When I was in the freezer, I happened to find, look at what we're talking here, a little tidbits, pieces of pancetta from an earlier dinner, I'm sure. But I said, I can definitely use this. All right, so I'm liking the way this is going. Look in my produce drawer. I have an open bag of arugula, okay? I need some greens in there. Um, always have garlic, absolutely. Um, I have olive oil, okay? So I, I know I can go somewhere. And in my cabinet, I found one of my favorite ingredients. These are pepperoncini, okay? Calabrian chili peppers. They're like uh, crushed red pepper before they get crushed. They're little tiny little uh, pepper pods from Calabria. Really tasty and a little spicy, of course. So I said, yeah, this is going in there. So I don't know what I'm making, but I'm starting to see the uh, beginnings of what looks like it's going to be a very tasty pasta dish. I got greens, I got reds, I got proteins, I got cheese, I got stock, I got seasonings. And this is just from what's in my house. Now, does everybody have the same ingredients? Probably not, but you probably have something in your house. My challenge to you today is to do the same. I'm not going to give you a recipe. You can, you can follow along with what I do here today. And if you had the same ingredients, you could do it. Or you can go get the ingredients if you like what you see. But I'm challenging you to go into your pantry, into your fridge, into your cabinets. Look for some ingredients. Somebody said to you, I need a dish in like a half hour. What do you got in your house? Make it for me. So um, hopefully this inspires you to do the same. So I'll tell you what, come on back here and I'll be all set up and we will start putting this together to see how it evolves. All right, sound like a deal? Awesome. All right, I'll see you back here in a few. Okay, so. We're back, and um, what I've got here is I've got some fresh pasta sheets. These are sfoglia, again. 
All right. So I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking um, uh, I'm leaning towards Papadelli, which are the really double wide, uh, like a fettuccine noodle, only wider, in honor of my niece who's visiting Tuscany right now, and she sent me a picture of Papadelli, so I got that in my mind. All right, so I have here my, uh, my skillet, my pasta water, and um, now I've got all my ingredients here all sorted out, okay, and I have a plan now. So, let's talk about the cooking process. Whatever ingredients you have, it has to make sense in the order in which you cook. So um, you can't just take all the ingredients that you find and throw them in a pot and expect it to come out really good. It won't be bad, but it could be a lot better. All right, so the process, I have fatty pancetta, okay? So common sense tells me I have to render that first, right? So I want to get that. Uh, all the fat come out of it because that's going to be my fat for sauteing the rest of the veggies. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with getting my um, my pan hot, right? And I'm going to render my pancetta, okay? And when that's golden brown and crispy, I'm going to remove it, okay? and then uh, I'll put it back at the end. Because I'm thinking now, if you know something about cooking, basic cooking, I'm not talking anything uh, extravagant here, but um, the process. So I need a fat to then cook my garlic. Uh, these are all what we call aromatics or garnishes. Okay, so the first step is to get a pan hot, get your fat in the pan, in this case, our fat is going to be the pancetta, okay? So, I'm going to render that and cook that down. And it's just now getting hot, just starting to sizzle, okay? I'm going to give a little bit of boost. I'm going to give a little olive oil in there. Okay, and then that combined with the fat that renders off of my pancetta, uh, it'll give me a good vehicle to then uh, cook my garlic, okay? Um, in my other pan, I have my pasta water, which I am going to preheat. Because you always need rapidly boiling salted water. And I'll add the salt in a bit, right? Italians cook the pasta like they're cooking in seawater. All right. So let's, um, let's go back to cutting the um, pappardelle noodles, okay? So I have some sheets, which I pre-rolled, okay? And I'm going to just put them through here. Let's go see. And now we have these beautiful extra wide pasta noodles, okay? I'm gonna just lay these down here. So, I'm using fresh pasta because that's what I do. Can you use any? Sure, go in, like I said, no rules. Go into your pantry, see what you have. I'm not saying everybody has fresh pasta in their freezer. Okay? I always happen to have it. So if you don't have fresh pasta, no biggie. I'm sure you have some kind of noodles in your cabinet. Okay? If you have fresh or er, fresh pasta and you keep it in the freezer, remember, uh, the thawing it out takes a while. Um, you may have to readjust it because of the moisture content once it thaws out. So there are a couple little things you have to do. All right, so this is rendering nicely. Now you can see it's starting to brown. I wish you could get that aroma of that beautiful pancetta. One of the one of the culinary treasures is pancetta and pancetta fat. 
So it's still not quite crisp enough yet where I'm going to remove it. But you can see all the fat that has since rendered out. Okay, it's like cooking bacon. Beautiful. And there will be a little carryover cooking in here. So when you remove it from the heat, it will continue to take on that crisp exterior. All right, so now, beautiful. I am going to, I'm going to drain most of that, put it back in the original container that I had. No sense in dirtying another dish. But that aroma uh, is already starting to be the base where we're going to build our flavors. Okay, so we're going to save that pancetta. Next, I am going to go in with uh, my garlic. Okay, so my pan is still hot, so be careful. I'm not going to kill it with the garlic, right? And I'm going to add my pepperoncino. Alright, I'm just going to put all that in there. I like it a little spicy. Now, try not to get that garlic too brown. You don't want it to take on a bitter aroma or flavor. So now I'm going in with my cold cuts. As a matter of fact, I had... Let me tell you what I had in here. I had some sopressata. I had some mortadella. I had some porchetta. Okay, all highly flavorful cold cuts. I cut them into strips, into julienne pieces, so they can disperse throughout the pasta. Oh, bellissima. So we're going to let that cook, and we're going to let that take on the flavor of the pancetta and the garlic, and get that pepperoncino in there. My wife's going to kill me because she doesn't really like a lot of spice and I think those pepperoncino, if she bites into one, I think they're small enough though. Yeah. It's all good. Oh God. All right. So now, we don't really, these meats are cooked obviously, we don't have to uh, let them cook too long in the fat there. I just want to really get that flavor, release some of the juices from those meats. You know, if I had, and I think I do, see, this is how things happen. I'm thinking I need a little poco di vino, a little red wine. So I just happen to have a little bit, a perfect amount of red wine hanging out at the house. Look at that. Done. because my gut tells me red tomatoes, spicy meats, red wine, okay? All right, we'll let that alcohol cook out a little bit, okay? And then we're gonna go in with our pomodoro. So what I did is I had that salsa, you remember? I took the remaining cherry tomatoes, cut them in half, added it to the salsa, and that's all going in there. Beauteous. Now I'll get my trusty wood. Now look at this sauce. Oh my goodness. Oh, bellissima. Those tomatoes now will release some juice and they will be the backbone of our sauce. So all those flavors are marrying. They're all coming together very nicely. And we have our beautiful fresh Pasta. So, our water is heating up nicely. We can... Throw the salt in there. And believe it or not, I always do this too. 
Yeah. You can go a little bit more. A little salt in the water. So look at this. Mm. So like I said, when I woke up today, I had no plan. I don't know what we call this dish. Doesn't really have a name. Maybe somebody can tell me how to say pantry pasta in Italiano. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to let those cherry tomatoes do their thing. I got my tasting spoon here. Oh my goodness. So, this is a, a very hearty dish. <coughs> yeah. Ooh. I got a little kick from the pepperoncino just kicked in. Now I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock. Okay, give this, there we go. Mill that out a little bit. So, and those tomatoes are breaking down. Let's go back in now and taste that again. Mm. That chicken stock helped to mellow that out nicely. Very, very nice. So, what I'm going to wait for here is that water to come to a rolling boil. When it does, I'll do two things. I'll put the pasta, obviously. I'll put my arugula in because we're going to, the arugula is going to work like spinach. When you add it to a liquid, hot liquid, it's going to wilt down, it's going to shrink. So it's going to be um, a nice balance of greens to red in here. And it's going to give that little bitter, uh, slightly peppery uh, flavor to this dish. And then we're going to finish it off with some freshly shaved Pecorino Romano. And I don't know if I could ever duplicate this dish again. Maybe I could watch the video back and say, oh, that's what I did. But I don't know if I'll ever have those same ingredients at the same time in the house and, you know, that's the beauty about cooking, okay? Maybe uh, always try to come up with something new and don't rely on, you know, past tried and true dishes all the time. Reinvent yourself, reinvent the, the wheel, so to say. Mm. Got a really nice sauce. I'll see how it ends up tasting. I may even go in and add like um, a couple tablespoons of whole butter at the end just to enrich in this sauce and give it a little shine to it. Okay, we call that uh, uh, mante au beurre or at times a mantecari when you fold in and mix all the ingredients together, mantecari. So our water is now up to it, a rapid boil, okay. Um, I'm going to go in here, add these, let that wilt down, give that a stir, give it a toss, look at that, bellissima. I think what we're going to see here are like the colors of the Italian flag when we're all said and done. Alright, so, pasta goes in. I'm give it a nice stir. And you don't really need to cook the arugula along. You see how quickly it broke down, right? All that. Now we have a nice balance of ingredients. This being fresh pasta does not take long to cook. We're not looking for al dente because it's fresh pasta. Uh, okay, now my pasta is now in the sauce, okay? And it's soaking up all that deliciousness. And you gotta remember, we always need to toss the pasta in the sauce, okay? So you wanna make sure you get everything mixed in well together, all right, just like that. And you wanna get it nice and hot. Now it's time to plate. So we have our plate, okay? And we're going to take, look at that gorgeous pasta. We're gonna come right in here. Oh, 
be. You see my pilot up nicely. And then go back over, right? Now we want to get a little more of that delicious sauce with all the garnishes. All right. And a little left over for the kitchen. Okay, so, but we're not done yet. All right, we need to take some of our pecorino and we want to do a little shaved pecorino romano up on top. And then we're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of our browned up pancetta pieces over the top, a così, like that. But now we need the ultimate. That's a good bite right there. Mm. All those flavors coming together to make one absolutely delicious dish from the pantry. There we have our pantry pasta. What's your creation going to be? Let me know. Let me know what you ended up doing today. Anyway, um, tune in again. Uh, a couple announcements. Uh, later this month, I will be joining forces with Cook Shop Plus in Orlando. Did I say Orlando? No. Cook Shop, eh, that must be a Freudian slip. Cook Shop Plus in West Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, I'm going to be doing pasta cooking classes out of their store. It's a great kitchen store. Go on their website, Cook Shop Plus, West Hartford, not Orlando. Uh, and um, you can sign up for classes and I'll see you there. Also on October 18th, I'll be doing a live TV segment, NBC Connecticut Live, October 18th, Friday. And I will be posting all this on my Facebook page as well. So look forward to that happening. And um, as always, uh, from Pasta More to you, buon appetito, keep cooking, and I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao.